All right, guys, welcome to tutorial number 27. And in this tutorial, we are going to be learning about padding. Now, padding, if you recollect, is the space between the content and the border of an element. And to specify padding, we use a property called, well, padding. So the property padding is used to specify the space between our content, which is the box model, and the blue color border surrounding it. So let's go back to our HTML file and in our H1 element we are going to apply a property called padding and the padding can have a value let's say 25 pixels. Now let's save it and observe the space between the border and the content and I refresh it and there you go you have 25 pixels on the top, on the left, on the on the bottom and well there would have been 20 25 pixels on the right but h1 is a block element so it takes up the width of the screen or how much width you provided but anyway so this padding property is going to apply a padding of 25 pixels all the way in all four directions now let's say we want to apply the padding only to certain sides of the content then we can make use of padding top or padding left, padding bottom and padding right. So let me show you. Let's have padding top of 50 pixels and padding bottom of 30 pixels. And let's not have any padding for the left or the right. And when you save it and reload it, there you go. You have, how much was it? So 55 pixels on the top padding and 30 pixels of padding at the bottom and on our left we have no padding because we have not mentioned it so whenever you want to specify some additional space between the content of the element and the border surrounding it then we make use of this padding property so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and in the next video let us learn about margins